Thanks for clicking on to the Wednesday edition of Vogue's European Outlook for the 15th of November. We've reached the middle portion of the month. This is the Arctic Oscillation seen by the GFS Ensemble. You can see here it is firmly positive but expected to go back towards neutral, certainly in the means anyway. But there is, as you can see, a bit of a spread between firm positive and deeply negative during the latter half of November. The North Atlantic Oscillation firmly neutral. At the moment, but like the, you know, like the Arctic oscillation, it looks as if there is quite a spread between positive and negative. The the reason why is there is a lot of uncertainty as we go towards the latter half of the month. This is another look at it for the eight fifty temperatures over London, and also a firm spread in the models. The ensemble mean has it uh, pretty close to average for the London area at five thousand feet above the surface. You can see here, as we push through to the 18th of the month, it is below average, then it goes back above average, and then there is a gradual decrease as we move towards the 20th, 22nd, 24th of the month here. Looking at the, um, the short term, the, pretty much the here and now, this is the rainfall radar across the British Isles at the moment. You can see the Lancashire rain, southwest Scotland, eastern and central parts of Scotland. We do have some precipitation over Cumbria into the western fringes of Northumberland down towards Lancashire, uh, the greater Manchester area, for example. We've got some pretty heavy outbreaks of rain here. Elsewhere across the bulk of England and Wales, it is largely dry. Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland is fairly dry also. This is the pressure pattern at the moment here. And you can see an area of low pressure over the North Sea. We've got a bit of a, a ridge trying to start to build into the UK and Ireland over the next few days here before we've got a next weather system moving in for the upcoming weekend here. But we are starting to see a little bit of a change in terms of we're spreading out this barrage of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. Uh, you know, parts of northern France, even southern parts of the UK, has seen a tremendous amount of rainfall during the first 10 to 15 days of the month. We should start to see a, a gradual decrease in that precipitation, but it is certainly not um, done with this just yet. And um, it will be interesting to see whether we can start to see a drier theme developing. Whether it goes warmer than average or below average temperature-wise during the final couple of weeks of uh, November, remains to be seen at this moment in time. Looking at the, this is quite interesting here. This is the, the seven day te two meter temperature change over the uh, ocean surface here. You can see quite a, a, an interesting decrease in temperature here now starting to show up over the central and, and eastern southern Indian Ocean. Uh, the Bay of Bengal is below average while we've got warmer than average conditions across the western side of the basin. So we continue with that positive IOD theme. We have seen a cooling taking place over parts of the south and the East China Sea, the uh, Yellow Sea, the Sea of Japan, up towards the North Pacific here. Uh, down the eastern side of the North Pacific, we've seen a cooling taking place. So generally that North Pacific basin has seen a drop in temperature. The Atlantic has seen a drop in temperature. The eastern both tropical and subtropical Atlantic has seen a drop in temperature really in, in the region here, just to the west of Cape Verde, uh, Canaries. And uh, we have got a very slight warming showing up to the west of Iberia, Bay of Biscay, and into the Celtic Sea region here. So, um, But one of the most notable uh, decreases in temperature actually has been in the eastern equatorial Pacific, now, if we look at the Nino region 3.4, which is the Central Pacific, you can see here that we've had a slight drop in temperature. This is off Tropical Tidbits. This is the CDAS data, by the way. You can see here that we have seen a temperature going from close to uh, plus 1.5 above average down to about 1.3, which is quite interesting because we have been seeing an increase in the Central Pacific in recent times, but look at Nino region 1.2, continuing to see this kind of decrease, this downward trend, 
from about the week one, the end of week one of September, where we were up at the you know plus three Celsius above average. Now we're seeing temperatures below two Celsius uh, above the average line here, which is pretty pretty impressive actually. And in the North Atlantic, look at the drop in temperature here. We we've seen uh, quite a sharp drop in temperature also over the North Atlantic basin here. This is the current sea surface temperatures according to the sea dust data of tropical tidbits. And there's that tripod showing up here, which is going to be one of those things that we'll be looking at. And the winter forecast, by the way, will be released Thursday, the 30th of November. So you can put that in your diary. That is the official release date of the winter 2023-24 season. So I'm going to be uh, finalizing the, the winter forecast as I get home, I should hopefully be home on uh, about tea time on Thursday, so tomorrow, and then really between you know the upcoming weekend, early next week, right the way through to the end of the month, that is when I'm going to be working on finalising the winter forecast. So something for you to stay tuned for. If you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of winter chat, lots of winter content coming up over the next couple of weeks. As we approach the final date of the winter 2023-24 forecast. So here's the, 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 the situation as, as it stands at the moment here. We have seen a slight decrease in the strength of the positive IOD. Uh, we have seen the temperatures slightly drop in the far east portion of the Pacific. There's that uh, still that negative PDO signal showing up here got this area of cool here out uh, a few hundred miles to the west of Washington state. We've also got the cold waters here extending from a, a few hundred miles off the Baja all the way across to the south of uh, the Hawaiian Islands. We've now started to see that drop in temperature here between Australia and Papua New Guinea. The South Pacific has been cooling down as well, but that tripod showing up over the North Atlantic will be very interesting to see whether that has any feedback uh, process to the atmosphere here. Looking at the current temperatures over Europe as it stands at the time of recording, which is, I believe, close to, what, 9 o'clock in the morning UK time, back of the back of 6 here in Tokyo. I can see here cold temperatures over Scandinavia, relatively mild conditions the further south and southwest you go over the continent here. Interesting temperature contrast here. Minus 32.5 Celsius was recorded in northern Sweden, whereas we had a temperature in Coin in southern Spain of 33.2 Celsius. However, that has been somewhat dismissed by one particular source indicating that that station is not particularly reliable. It's actually our friend Thierry Goose that says that a very warm day in Spain but coin thir coins 33.2 isn't reliable at all. So the November record for Spain still stands. And you can see here that uh, this weather station um, is essentially on the roof of, uh, of a building in the center of town. So, of course, that will be reading warmer than it should be. Uh, so I thought that would be quite interesting to point out. Um, looking at the uh, pressure chart here, this is off uh, the GFS model, the overview chart. You can see that area of low pressure then moving into the uh, North Sea. We've still got a legacy of shower activity. Slightly colder air over the northern half of the British Isles, so we are seeing wintry precipitation over higher ground. Then as we move towards the, the period here, Wednesday into Thursday, we've got an area of low pressure starting to deepen, quite a small, compact area of low pressure as, as well as you can see. But that system then moves through the um, through the English Channel, bringing heavy persistent rain across the so southern counties of England, possibly South Wales as well. So the Swansea, the Cardiff area, we'll, we'll probably see a, a outbreaks of rain overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Also, we're going to see some fairly strong winds, possible gales through the English Channel, south coast, the north coast of France. Once again, more heavy rainfall here. It's been a very, very wet spill across the north of France. Then that area of low pressure moves through Belgium into Germany. Very small, compact feature, which, which is quite interesting. 
Then as we move towards the um, Thursday and the Friday, clear skies, light winds, high pressure. We may see a fairly widespread frost, a fairly chilly morning uh, come th uh, Friday morning. Then as we move towards the, the second half of Friday into Saturday, a new frontal system associated with yet another area of low pressure will be spreading its way eastwards across Ireland, Northern Ireland and the rest of the British Isles during the course of Friday and into Saturday. Increasing winds as well, of course, so we are going to see some fairly messy conditions. But listen, you know, by this stage, given how wet it's been in not only the last week or two, but really the last few months, um, you know, we are pretty well accustomed to this regime of the Atlantic um, and it looks as if it's going to maintain itself. But as we play through the loop here, you can see that we start to see a spread now of the weather systems itself. The latest one of the GFS is indicating that higher pressure becomes a little bit more established and we have a bit more of a prolonged spell of better weather to come. Now notice the position of the high is to the west, southwest of the British Isles and Ireland here. Bit of a northwesterly flow around that area of high pressure means that we could see some colder air coming in around the top. But the area of high pressure itself positioned to the southwest of the UK and Ireland means that we're still tr transporting, importing air off the Atlantic. So it's not Arctic, it's, if anything, recycled air that is over the Atlantic. So nothing particularly cold to speak about. If we were to transport something a little bit further to the, the north and northwest, you would be drawing air in from a colder source region. So that has to be taken into consideration that this air mass is essentially coming off the Atlantic, not out of Greenland or Iceland, and therefore the chill will be limited. Now, as you notice here, this is all the way to Friday the 24th. This is next Friday. Long way out, of course, but it looks as if next week is a drier week overall. It could be one of the driest weeks, by the way, in quite a long time if the model is anything to be believed. Then, if you notice, Saturday the 25th of November, now this is a close-up view. I've not spread it out, so you're not getting a broader picture. But notice this, the situation. We've got an area of low pressure over the, the Baltic Sea, over Scandinavia, higher pressure to the west. Therefore, we're seeing that air coming in from the north. If we get this surge of colder weather, the question is, how strong and how long will that be um, the case? That all remains open to question at this time. But it looks as if we are. The take home for this video really is the drier theme and the potential for something a little bit colder towards the end of November here. So lots of interesting things going on at the moment. Keep it right here on the channel. Be sure to hit that like button. Let me let myself and YouTube know that you're enjoying the content and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Lots more to come in the days, weeks and even months ahead here. So exciting times to come here on the channel. There will be no video tomorrow because I'm going to be traveling pretty much throughout the course of tomorrow. And the, the chances are there probably won't be a video on Friday because I'm not actually arriving back home in the north of Scotland until later on friday so going to be traveling over the next day or two so uh you know be patient and stay tuned and i will have more content towards the upcoming weekend here so enjoy the rest of your wednesday and i'll see you in the next few days with more bye for now